Okay guys, I know it's been about six years since I decided to take a break from YouTube and I can only apologize that it's taken me so long to get something out to you. Now, at the time, it really was supposed to be just that, a break. I mean, I was, I was working a full-time job and then all of my free time was spent, you know, investigating, reviewing footage, editing that footage, putting it online, weekly Q and A's, you know, like that was pretty much my life for three years. And it just got to a point that I was just so tired. It was affecting other things. So I'd be out with family and friends and while physically there, I just wasn't mentally engaged. Like I was just so, so out of it. Like I was pretty much a zombie at that point. I was sort of going on autopilot. So not only was family and friends suffering for it, but the research itself, like you'd be sat in a communication session and you'd just be so tired, you couldn't even think of a question. So it just wasn't worth continuing at the expense of everything else, you know? Um, so while it broke my heart, I made that decision and I decided to take a break in, in sort of typical me fashion. Um, I also sort of turned it into a bit of a paranormal experiment. Um, I had this theory, and I've talked about this before, that the reason the house was so heightened with activity was because of my constant engagement with it like not only just encouraging them to do things you know like can you make these lights go off can you speak through this can you move that object but like i was actively giving them energy you know like here's an em pump and a plasma ball please draw your energy from this and see if you can move things around so there's no wonder in my mind that you know things were so heightened all the time so having this rest period sort of afforded me an opportunity that I probably wouldn't have got otherwise, and that is to to step back and see if that activity would go down. Now, I don't think it would ever stop, which it hasn't. Um, I don't think it would ever stop because I do believe wholeheartedly that I am a haunted person. Like, it's not the house. It's not something I own. I think there's something about me, like some sensitivity or... I don't know if it's the exposure to the paranormal that I've had over the last 13 years that has sort of thin that veil a little bit, maybe a near near death experience I had when we were younger that has just made me more susceptible to it. But I do think regardless of my engagement, that activity would happen, but just on a smaller scale. Um, which, like I say, it did. Other than the first two months of that break where things sort of really were trying to fight for my attention, it did sort of fizzle out and you'd still hear the occasional knocks and you know footsteps and you could you could hear things shifting but it was never sort of obvious like you'd come down and you'd never know that something had moved but you could you could hear it during the night on occasion and um, which i'm you know i'm 100 percent fine with like i'm used to living with spirits like it, they really don't bother me the fact that they you know they move around during the night like we've all lived with other people like if someone gets up in the middle of the night and moves around you don't i don't know it just it just doesn't it doesn't bother me you don't jump out of bed and think intruder do you, you just think Oh, well, it just sort of is what it is. And so I was happy enough with that. And then in 2018, I came back with that update video. Now, as I said in that video, that was never supposed to be my comeback. But the activity ramped up to such a point that it just piqued my interest. You know, like I was still tired. I still had to get up for work at like five o'clock. So active investigating, you know, staying up till one, two, three o'clock in the morning, seeing if I could capture things and be there in person was out of the question. I could set up cameras and so I did. And that's when I posted the, the sort of the nightly stairs footage where there was something moving up and down the stairs and you know the orb activity and things. Um which was, you know, that was great. Um but it it didn't end there. Like as promised in that video, I kept those cameras rolling and I caught some great activity in it, but it wasn't just the stairs either. It it was the whole house, like the living room, spare room, the kitchen, all of it caught something. And while disruptive, it is fascinating.
Now, while I was trying to sort of avoid actively engaging with them and, you know, investigating personally, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself sort of setting up the K2 meter and the REM pod uh, in different rooms and just seeing if I could get, you know, that next level of engagement. Now you might be wondering why it's taken so long to get this footage to you and it's for the same reason it took nearly a month between the update and that noisy stairs footage and it's just I just didn't have the time like I was still tired I was still busy and three cameras set up around the house say 10 hours a night that's 30 hours of footage to go through even if you know something's happened that night it's still a lot of work and so I was just sort of putting that footage on a hard drive to review later and it was sort of just building up really but despite my lack of engagement at the time it'd been going on for two months like it was getting to a point where like I say almost nightly up and down the stairs something falls over banging on the door waking us up like I was starting to lose sleep anyway so I decided to sit down get the EVP recorder out and see if I could get some answers. If there are any spirits here that would like to come forward and speak to me, now is your opportunity. See this little red light on this recorder, on this little device? If you speak into that, 
I can hear what you're saying and I can pass on any messages that you leave. If you're here, would you like to come and do that? Now you've been waking me up the last couple of nights, walking up and down the stairs, knocking on the bedroom door. Is there a reason you've been doing that? Is there a message you want to pass on? If this is a little intimidating, I can I can put the recorder down here on the step and step away from it. Would that be easier for you? Just got a slightly funny feeling. I don't know like a static charge or something. Is that you I can feel? Can you tell me your name? Why you're here? That was a footstep, definitely. That was a that was a footstep on that bottom stair there. Is this you? I know, I know there's somebody present. Can you tell me why you're here? Are you trying to wake me up for any particular reason? normally tell the spirits that the bedroom is off limits as far as activity goes. I don't mind you being here to communicate but the bedroom is off limits. There are no there are no spirits allowed in there for any reason. Are you okay to follow that rule? Okay, I'm going to have a little listen to this and see if you've got any messages. Um, is there any last words you'd like to say before I close the recording? After that session, I sat and I listened to the recording through the device with some headphones and while I heard the scratching sounds, I didn't hear anything else that really constituted itself as a good quality EVP. So I didn't even bother offloading the audio to the computer for further analysis. I just left it where it was. Um, I did continue the nightly shoots and that footage on the hard drive just continued to mount. And it was sort of at this point that something strange started to happen. Now I discussed this on a Facebook post a few years ago where I'd sit down to start the reviewing process, you know, I pull up a clip and I'll be like, right, I'm going to work through this, this 10 hours of footage. And I would just come over like entirely bone weary, like fully fatigued. Like I'd be fine up until that point. I'd be like, right, tonight it's happening. I'm going to go in and I'm going to, I'm going to review that footage. And then I'd sit down and it's just like, woof, all energy just drained from my body. And I honestly, at the time I didn't think, it was anything paranormal. Like I decided to take this time away because I was tired. You know what I mean? And it, I think in my mind, I saw it as almost like a, like a mental defense mechanism thing. Like you, everyone's been in that situation where you've got something ahead of you that you know is going to suck. It, it's going to be taking so much time. It's going to be tiring and your body almost pre tires itself. Like the idea of doing it tires you out. 
And that is 100% what I thought was going on. I thought, maybe I'm just not ready yet. So offload the footage, let it continue to mount up. I'll get to it when I can. Um, but it's only really now looking back at it with everything that's happened that I think maybe there was a little bit more to it. And so despite my lack of active engagement for months or my actual attempt to communicate with them as I thought they wanted, the activity just seemed to keep ramping up. And on this night in particular, it went all night. It just didn't stop. So I stopped all the cameras the next morning, took the cards out, emptied the footage onto the hard drive, and I just kept hearing noises. Now, it had been so active during the night, I thought maybe it's just sort of bled into the day a little bit, but I went to work, came back, and I noticed things had moved around, like they weren't where I'd left them. So I made the decision to start offloading the footage on the morning, putting the cards back in the cameras, 
and roll in during the day too. And so the footage just continued to mount up and the hard drives continued to fill and this momentous task of actually sitting and reviewing it all just got harder and harder to start. I mean, the tiredness that I was feeling hadn't gone away. This, this fatigue that I'd set in every time I sat to do that reviewing hadn't gone away. If anything, I'd say the whole thing was made worse by the fact that this spirit, whatever spirit was present, was being so noisy and disruptive it was causing us sleepless nights, which in turn makes me tired and therefore makes the whole thing so much worse. And I mean, let's be honest, anybody staring down 200 hours of nightly footage to review is probably going to be a little bit tired at the idea of it. Like, I mean, that's a, that's a daunting task for anybody, never mind like being kept awake at night by, you know, a noisy ghost. And so over the, over the following year, I would eventually fight that fatigue and you know start doing some actual active investigating because it got to a point where it gone on so long that enough was enough like I took this break to rest and it wasn't allowing me to do that and it was affecting Shauna it was keeping her up too so it was time to like pull my finger out roll up my sleeves and do some actual investigating and get some answers because one way or another it had to come to an end if they just wanted attention then they could get that if they had a message that they wanted to pass on great if i could help them understand their situation brilliant if not they were getting told to leave because it, it, it just couldn't continue and so i have so much footage left to share with you and I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to share some of those communication sessions with you um but i'm going to save them for another video so thank you all so much for watching and as always I'll post any and all activity as and when I get it.